What's up guys, hi, and welcome to Uncle Scott's Kitchen. I just got this in today. It was on the front porch this morning. What is it? This is a new pan from Debouye, part of their brand new Locky collection. Now what is the Locky collection? It is a collection of pans with removable handles. I've never used one of these before, never even seen one in person before. We are going to open this guy up and check out the new Locky system. Now, Locky is spelled L-O-Q-Y, uh, all caps. I chose to go with the Mineral B carbon steel with the Locky system. Uh, you can also get it on, I believe, the uh, Alchemy three-ply stainless steel, some of those uh, sizes and also some of the um, chalk stream non-sticks. We don't focus much on the non-sticks around here, but we do like the carbon steel. There it is, the Debouillet French bag with the French flag on it. Whoops, I forgot to turn the action cam on. Your GoPro um, opening a frying pan about as much action as I can handle these days. And that's just packing material. And when you get a carbon steel from Debouye, it comes in a paper bag. A very fancy high class paper bag, but a paper bag nonetheless. And let's see. And here it is, the Debouye 11 inch Locky pan. I have to say right off the bat, I see a little bit of rust on this pan. So maybe didn't have quite as much beeswax on there as they were intending. So I have to get that off of there. Carbon steel comes in shiny, uh, silvery like this. We're going to need to season this pan before we start cooking in it, which we'll do here in a few minutes. See if I can remove this label. And here you see the two handles where we're going to have to attach the Locky system handles. Um, they make the Locky handles in two types. This one is the French style stainless steel and these are two wooden handles. Let's try the uh, stainless steel first. I do want to point out there's a little bit of rust on this pan. We'll see if we can get that cleaned off in a minute. As we all know, carbon steel, if it gets any moisture on it when it's unseasoned, it can rust. And that's a prime example of it. There's the locky handle. And it's got a little button. And let's see how it locks in here. First time. There it is. First reaction is I'm not sure I would want to flip an egg with this. We'll try it here in a little bit. Let's see how it, easy it is to detach. Let's see. Okay, it was that easy to detach. And who are these pans geared towards? They're geared towards people that don't have a lot of storage space. Um, you can also see these being useful for people on camping trips, RVs, but really geared towards people that don't have a lot of storage space for their pots and pans. Also, this is an oven safe pan. It might be uh, easier to get in some ovens without the handle on there. Now let's take a look at the beech wood. These are wood. 
handles. And this is an 11 inch mineral bee pan. Let's put the wood handles on. Let's see how it goes. Kind of snap on there. And that's actually kind of interesting, having wood, uh, two wood handles on an 11 inch mineral bee. Now, as far as pricing, um, the pan body on this 11 inch mineral B, it's a three millimeter thick carbon steel skillet. If you go with just the regular series mineral B, it's 95 bucks. And these are prices off of the uh, Debouillet website. If you go with the 11 inch with the Locky handle system, uh, same pan body, it's um, $105. And then if you got the 11 inch in the mineral B Pro, which would have the attached um, casting with steel French style handle, that would be $115. So as far as the pan body with the uh, two handles here, somewhere in the middle of Mineral B and Mineral B Pro, but you also have to buy the handles. And um, the French handle is 65 bucks and the two Beechwood handles, you get two, also 65 bucks. So, you're really kind of paying up a little bit for the uh, Lockheed system, but it's kind of interesting. So what I want to do now, see, I'm not sure how to remove that. Okay, so this is a carbon steel skillet. So what I'm gonna do now is get this guy cleaned up. Hopefully that rust will come right off. It's probably just a little bit of surface rust. We'll get this guy seasoned. And then what I think I'm gonna to do to test this locky handle is if we can get an egg to slide, uh, we can get an egg to flip. And I'm gonna try and flip an egg 100 times and see if this handle detaches when it's put to the test flipping some eggs. Who knows? Let's jump in and get started on that. Okay, so let's get this guy cleaned and seasoned. Um, this thing arrived with a little bit of rust on it. Are we going to panic? No, we're not. I've got out my entire rust cleaning arsenal here. And what I do is start out just with dish soap and a scrubby sponge. If that doesn't work, uh, I start ratcheting things up. But uh, thankfully, I didn't have to go any harsher than a little bit of barkeeper's friend. Now I'm not 100% sure this is rust. It looks like rust, but some of it also looks like some beeswax that might have taken on a little bit of dirt or manufacturing residue, but definitely want to get that off there as well. And barkeeper's friend did the trick. Very important with a bare new carbon steel pan like this, um, when you wash it, dry it immediately because it will rust very quickly because it has no seasoning on there to protect that bare steel. Okay, so that turned into a little bit of a lesson on how to remove some rust from a carbon steel skillet. I think it looks pretty good. And now what I'm gonna do is season it. I'm gonna use the stovetop method here on my gas cooktop. Um, what I'm gonna do first is take a paper towel with just a drop or so of oil. I'm gonna rub this all over the pan and wipe it dry. And the reason I'm doing this, I'll always do this, but I wanna get some oil on the bottom of the pan. Which I don't normally worry too much about because I used all that barkeeper's friend. I'll make sure it gets a little bit of oil. All right. And now what I've got here is just some peanut oil. And what I want to do is pour some in until there's a millimeter or so of oil in the bottom of the pan. And I have a, an empty bowl here and a big wad of paper towels. And what I want to do is attach my locky system handle here. And what I'm gonna do is get this burner on. And 
and I'm going to bring this oil up to its smoking point. And then I'm going to dump it out, and then I'm going to wipe the pan out until it looks dry with those paper towels. Starting to see just a little color around the sides. All right, starting to get some smoking. Definitely coloring in now. The sides. I'm going to pour out this oil. And now I am going to. I'm going to let that color in and get a few more paper towels. All right, fan going on. Sorry for the noise. And sometimes what I like to do is move this over to the smaller burner so I can get a little more flame concentrated right in the middle and even it up just a little bit. I think I'm going to call that good. Okay, so we got the pan seasoned, and it was about a half hour ago. I've let it cool down, and I'm running my fingers across the surface, and it seems like smooth, uh, cold, hard metal. Took on a little bit of color. You see some kind of darker areas. That's probably where a little bit of that beeswax was remaining on the pan. Um, got a little bit of color on the bottom. Now we're going to try the proverbial fried egg test. If we get the egg to slide, what I'm going to do after that is hopefully, um, if I can get it sliding, if we can flip an egg, I'm going to flip an egg a hundred times and see how that uh, detachable handle, hopefully it will not detach when I'm flipping those eggs. And let's go ahead and get this guy heating up. Room temperature egg. My butter ready to go. I'll let this guy preheat for a minute. While this thing is heating up, one thing I noticed when I did the seasoning, I noticed the handle does get a little bit hot that was in a seasoning context. Um, it will obviously attach to either side. There's a little bit of play in the handle. There are two kind of grooves, one on each side, it kind of locks in. And it's got rivets. Pan is a riveted pan. And normally on this 11 inch Mineral B and Mineral B Pro, the handle is only on one side. There's not a helper handle. So this one is a little bit interesting in the fact that there's a handle on each side. Go ahead and get our butter in the pan.
Here we go. Wait for the crackling to abate a little bit. Hope I didn't thumb through the yolk. Quick wash. Set up a little bit. And, okay, first egg, sliding. And I'm gonna let this guy set up a little bit and then we're going to commence our flipping odyssey here. Hands a little bit wet. Uh-oh. There we go. One. Let's make sure this thing is set up before I go crazy with the flipping here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 50, I gotta take a break, believe it or not. Good Lord. 77. 99. 100. <laughs> Honey, your egg is ready. Okay, that is probably the most abused egg in the history of carbon steel pan flipping. But I am happy to say that I flipped that pan, uh, flipped that egg a hundred times and the handle, there's a little play in it. But it did not detach, so that is a good thing. Okay, so I flipped that egg a hundred times and one thing is abundantly clear, I need to start working out. I had to stop and rest a few times um, during the flipping process. Probably the most flipped egg in the history of carbon steel skillets, I have to say. Uh, the good news here, the handle, there's a little bit of play in it. But it was like that since the first time I put it on and thankfully, in those 100 flips, and this is a, actually a heavy pan, that's why I had to stop and take a break, um, that handle did not detach in flipping that egg 100 times. So it seems pretty sturdy. And I kind of feel like I need to go apologize to a chicken. Okay, and now, as with most carbon steel, when I just cook eggs in it, it usually just wipes out with a paper towel, let's see. looking pretty good. Okay, now that the pan has cooled down, I want to uh, see if we can kind of zoom in just a little bit. Exactly how this handle works. Kind of looks like a uh, big disposable razor. But it's got kind of a little switch or what you would call it on the front. So you pull this down with your thumb, and on the back you can see this part move. And what that does, let's turn this upside down, see if we can see it a little bit better. It kind of locks in there. A little bit of play, and then let's see if I can release it. And then, okay, you got the uh, Debouye logo in the handle. Uh, this one is a stainless steel, the cast stainless steel, little uh, Debouye B in the middle. What I want to show here is kind of the difference, the 
between three of the main Debouillet handles. Here is the regular Mineral B kind of coated strip steel handle with the little logo in there. This is the Mineral B Pro. And this is the um, Lockheed. And just comparing to the Mineral B Pro here, but this Locky handle, you can see, is a good, kind of the same uh, angle and style. It's a fair amount shorter than the, uh, than the French style handle on the Mineral B Pro. I also gotta say, there's a little bit of play in the uh, Locky handle, and the Mineral B Pro handle feels definitely a little bit more solid. Now, uh, I got a little bit more information from the Debuye website. These handles are not oven safe. Um, the carbon steel pan itself, definitely oven safe. But you would want to use mitts to put this in the oven and take it out. And then use your decorative handles if you were going to take it to a table and use it to uh, serve. So what do I think about the Locky system? Um, granted, these are first impressions and not really doing an in-depth review here. I think the carbon steel itself, this is a Debouillet Mineral B carbon steel pan, just like the Mineral B and Mineral B Pros. Fantastic, um, got it seasoned, egg slid the first time. It's just like all the other Mineral B carbon steel skillets we've reviewed around here and it gets a thumbs up. The Locky system itself, I think it kind of depends. Um, if you have plenty of storage space, I know here I'm in a suburban American, um, um, you know, upper middle class, I hope, uh, household, and we have plenty of storage space, I would go for the regular Mineral B or the, reg or the uh, Mineral B Pro. I like those handles a little bit better. However, if you're in a big city, if you're in a small apartment where storage space is really tight and you need a pan with a detachable handle for storage space issues, then I think the Locky is a fine way to go. Now, okay, this was more of an unboxing and first look. Uh, make sure you check the links below should you want to get one of these Lockies or other Debouillet Mineral B carbon steels below. There'll be an affiliate link. It really does help out as I buy all this stuff with my own money around here. If you go through the affiliate links, it's a nice thing to do. Make sure you post your questions, comments, and feedback below. And if you've tried one of these Lockies for yourself, make sure you let me know what you think about it. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again next time on Uncle Scott's Kitchen.